The oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface, but we've only mapped around 15% of the seabed. Now, to help meet one of the UN's Sustainable Development Goals to ensure the health of the world's oceans, JEBCO, a group of leading scientists, along with the Nippon Foundation, have teamed up to do what's never been attempted before. We know more about our own moon and about Mars than we do our own planet. We don't know enough about the seafloor. We need to be able to protect ocean habitats. We need to be able to protect humanity. Seabed mapping is vital for the security, safety and economic health of the world. The blue economy is valued at $1.5 trillion a year and supports around 31 million jobs. We spent the first few years of the project searching the shelves for data. We've got that data now, so we now need to move ahead and gather more data to fill in the 85% of the seabed that we've yet to map. The shape of the seabed is critical to understanding ocean circulation patterns, tides, wave action, sediment transport, tsunami wave propagation, underwater geohazards and resource exploration. With 1.1 million kilometres of submarine cable, we're also starting to use our ocean floors to stay wired and globally connected. It could take one ship equipped with a modern multi-beam echo sounder around 350 years at a cost approaching $3 billion to map the ocean floor deeper than 200 metres. So this project is taking a different approach. We're going to achieve this by ocean frontier mapping, by partnering with existing philanthropic projects that are going out to gather information by sponsoring new projects. We're also going to invest in crowdsourcing so using ships that are already plying their trade across the seas, fitting them with data loggers and gathering new information. And we're also using advancing technology. The world is changing. We're seeing the use of autonomous vessels at sea, which means we can go further afield, gather data more quickly and more effectively. The project is already partnering with Fugro, one of the world's leading offshore survey companies and the organisation that led the first search for missing Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. Most of the business that we do is tied to the oceans and uh, getting actively involved uh, into the uh, Seabed 2030 project was an easy choice for Fugro. With 17 deep water survey vessels working across the globe, we knew that we could uh, make a substantive impact. We used uh, the data of four vessels transiting from one project to the other, capturing data more than 100,000 square kilometres of high-resolution bathymetry data. Fugro's office-assisted remote services system enables staff working in centralised command centres to perform offshore survey tasks as if they were on board. This innovative technology means the company can collect these in-transit data sets with minimal interruption to its normal operating procedures. And based on that success, we believe we can apply a force multiplier and use this to roll that out throughout the whole entire Fugro fleet. Fugro recently announced that we are investigating together with our customers how we can actually use their propriety data and share that with the scientific community to the benefit of the whole humankind. We need the support of governments, we need industry and academia to partner with us and we need the public to support us in achieving our mission. Seabed 2030 is encouraging the entire marine community to support this important mission, which will help us to use the ocean more sustainably and undertake better scientific research for the benefit of everyone.